Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. So you do actually have to know one another. You don't necessarily have to be together, whatever your situation is here. You can be male or female watching this. So please only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not fitting for you, it's not your reading. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> so welcome, Sagittarius. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everyone is staying safe at this time. Welcome, welcome. So Sagittarius. This can be past, present, or future. Also, so take it how it resonates for you. So Sagittarius in love at this time. I do say at this time, I consider all my readings timeless. Links below for your love and general readings if you'd like to go back and watch past readings. Also in the description box, decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is below in the top comment in the description box. And if you're not comfortable exchanging any energy through PayPal, the super chat is open during the uh, premiere only. And if you do, thank you. So, Saggy Wadgy. Let's see. <clears throat> This is a zodiac oracle, so we get sign, element, planet. Let's see what comes out for you if you don't resonate with this part. Totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So Sagittarius in love at this time, spirit, please. Thank you so much. What do we have? Okay, there we go. That is so weird. I just did um, Leo. The cancer came out for Leo. Hmm. Okay. So I guess we'll keep it. Because I did shuffle, so some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Or, like the Leo reading, um, it could be the energy of cancer, which in tarot is the major arcana of the chariot, which is about positive movement forward. It's about action, um, determination, success, victory, balance. So, successfully moving forward in something, a lot of drive, ambition, and balance. Fast-moving energy. So, we'll see how that plays out for your reading. Or you could be dealing with a cancer. So, first thing I'm going to do for you, Sag, if you don't mind me calling you Sag, or Sag, or Saggy Waggy, or Saggy Poo, I don't know, whatever you like, or I'll say Sagittarius. <clears throat> anyway, let's see, Sagittarius. So, I'm going to pull an opening card for you. What is the energy like? Well, all right, too many. What is the energy like? Sort of like a love energy to open with for you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading for Sagittarius. What is the love connection energy like between Sagittarius and their person spirit? Please, whoever they're thinking about at this time for whoop, this reading. Ooh. Are you about to give roses to somebody, Sag? Hmm. We do see a little letter there, a little note. We have the Queen of Spades, though, which is the Queen of Swords energy. We do have nine, <clears throat> which can be about almost to the completion of something, which would be ten, a completion, one, then one, zero, one, a new beginning. Queen of Spades, though. Um, I'm trying to see what that says on there. Okay, it's the name of the deck on there. Anyway, Queen of Spades. Um can to me also be of like divine energy, truth, clarity, open, honest communication, cutting away things, not serving, telling it like it is not backing down kind of energy. So we'll see what I'm going to read the little riddle because these cards all have like a small riddle. It's kind of cute. So I like to read them. So this is flowers. This is the opening energy between you and your person. Beauty and a happy face is what I bring. I am the gift that warms your heart. I am your recovery and your well-being. No matter what card is before me, I will always change it positively. So <clears throat> something is changing here for the positive, no matter what it is here. And this could be divine energy bringing in truth and clarity. Somebody may be giving, receiving flowers, roses here. Peace, happiness, joy kind of energy. Surprise. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. All right. And I just noticed here, Sagittarius, you're nine. And the roses, the flowers here are nine. So are you thinking about taking some positive movement forward and bringing flowers or sending flowers to somebody? Hmm. You may see somebody as a queen of sword energy. Somebody's very open and honest, 
has a lot of truth and clarity. They cut away things not serving them. They're not afraid to stand up and tell it like it is. They don't back down kind of energy. So we'll see. So Sag, first thing I'm going to do Sag here is I'm going to put you here, your person here, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. Then we'll clarify that with the tarot here. Then we'll look at the actual connection, advice, possible outcome, and then we'll pull, look at the bottom of the deck also for extra energy. And we'll pull some whispers of love oracles. All the decks are listed below if you're interested, and also uh, where to buy them if you're interested in that also. Lowest through Amazon. I don't even know if they're doing shipping right now. I'm not sure, but you could try. All right, so how is Sag feeling about their person right now for this reading? And how is Sag's person thinking about them at this time and feeling in this situation at this time for Sag spirit, please? Okay. Sag, you have, woohoo, you have the broom. Hmm, which is 11. 11 to me is always half of the twin flame number. Did you have the Knight of Wands there? So that's fiery, passionate energy moving forward, a lot of drive and passion going after something. Sometimes the Knight of Wands um, <clears throat> can be Leo. Can be in and out kind of energy, player kind of energy, but doesn't have to be, or also can be just moving forward. Uh, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion kind of energy. 11, though, to me, is about being on the right spiritual path, going in the right direction, but it's also the twin flame number, half of it anyway. But if you add that together, it's two, so that's about unity of some sort. Interesting. We got 9, 10, 11, because we have 19 here, which is 10. We have 9, 10, 11. Wow, that's progression here of some kind to a divinely guided path. So let's see what for you, you have the broom, which kind of looks like a whip, but hmm, let's see, <clears throat> birch broom here. Be warned of high, of high temper. I bring conflict and strife. You will find me in competitions because I work with repetition. Arguments and quarrels are my patent, but I am not always a villain. I can be found in the gym or in a lusty bed on a whim. Hmm. And that's that in and out player energy with the Knight of Wands. But your person here has the tower. And this just came out. I just did um, Capricorn, I believe. And they have the tower as their opening energy. So this is the tower. But to me, um, you know, it looks like a palace where there's a lot of growth, abundance, prosperity. Do have 19 there, which is 10. It was about a completion of some kind. And then we have six of swords at the bottom here, which is about uh, balance, going in a more peaceful place, leaving BS behind. So let's see, a person has the tower. So let's see what the tower has to say. It says, corporations, organizations, institutions, and governments come under my influence. I am boundaries and restrictions, so be mindful of isolation. <clears throat> I describe your ambitions as well as your expectations and let's not forget your higher education. So <clears throat> somebody here could be going back to school. Maybe this person knows, maybe you kind of know each other, maybe. And this person knows your, maybe, you know, with the birch broom here, you know, brooms are about cleaning. So maybe this person knows that you're cleaning up things in your life, going back to school, here, but there's the flowers there. So somebody, it could be an apology. It could be just a peace, peaceful resolution. It could be uh, closure. It could be anything here with the roses. An offer here. But this is how you're feeling about your person. <clears throat> or it could be about how you're feeling in general. Maybe you know you need to clean up things in your life before you could take this passionate movement forward. You could see this person as a soulmate twin flame. I think this person wants some sort of completion with you. They want like this golden palace of growth, abundance. They want to want to go in a more healing, comfortable, peaceful place with the Six of Swords. Maybe they could be going back to school or higher education of some kind. Energy also. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. <coughs> well, we have the snake here. I just need a sip of water. <clears throat> so 
So we do have the snake as the bottom energy of the deck, which is seven. Seven to me is always divinely guided spiritual path, being on the right path, divinely guided. Queen of Wands there, uh, that's our energy. But the Queen of Wands does represent Aries, but it's fire, Leo Sag Aries. So I could say that's your energy. Very fiery, passionate, go-getter uh, kind of energy. A lot of drive, ambition. But that seven, um, I don't know, let's see what the snake has to say. With seven here as the bottom energy. Snake, watch out for me because I am always hiding. You can never trust or believe in me. I am cheating, deceiving, and will betray you in a heartbeat. Be careful where you are treading. My fangs will surely have you dreading. Hmm. Let's see what is going. Maybe somebody here. Maybe somebody here was an in and out player kind of energy, and they know they were kind of kind of like a, a snake, kind of deceitful, very passionate energy. But now maybe you know they're cleaning up their act. Could be you or your person now wanting to come in with flowers or an apology or something like that. Peace, harmony, and balance with the six of swords. Your person may accept this because they do have the palace here. Or the tower. So, I don't know, let's see how this plays out. You Sagittarius. Let's clarify this energy with the tarot for you Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much for this love reading. Whoever Sagittarius is thinking about at this time for this reading. All right. Because we have, well, we have got two queens here. Male or female, doesn't matter, king or queen, and a knight. So somebody was playing with two different people. And we have the six of spades here on your person. And this is the spades here. So I feel like if it's an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that you're dealing with, you may decide to move forward with them. Although, you know, wands here, that is your energy. So how about that resonates for you? If somebody wasn't playing with two people, um, I don't know, maybe something happened between two people here and uh, now making amends, cleaning up, somebody's cleaning up their act or cleaning up the situation. All right, so why does Sagittarius have the room here? <clears throat> Spirit, please, thank you so much for Sagittarius. Why is the room here? Two of swords and to make a decision, kind of unsure, not sure what to do. Two, two, 11 is two, two, two. That's the twin flame number, one, 11, 11, two, two. Unsure about this twin flame, are you, Sag? But here's divinely guided energy, Aquarius here. So it doesn't have to be. So this is divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true and healing. So you could be, you know, with the broom there, cleaning up things in your life, but you're unsure about a divinely guided energy here. That's come into your life. And maybe, you know, the snake there could have been just, you know, deceiving this person, deceiving yourself about this passion, about, you know, the truth and clarity of the situation. So let's see what, why does your person have the tower here for a person? That's too many. That's three. I just want two. I think I did see the chariot for Sagittarius. Hey, we got two here. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't make this. I cannot make this up. The four of wands. Your person knows that's the, my twin flame card. Your person knows that you are twin flames and you're unsure. It's like, you kind of know, you know, you kind of know you're unsure. You don't know, but you know, something's divinely guided here, but you're trying to clean up your life and make a decision about this. Maybe you're cleaning up this energy out of your life, this deceitful energy out of your life. But we do have the Seven of Cups. So your person's confused about you. They see you as a soulmate twin flame, but they're confused as to what's going on. Seven of Cups is about daydreams, confusion, options, choices, decisions. <clears throat> they're unsure if you're going to choose this twin flame soulmate connection. But I do think, you know, they do want to go in a more peaceful, balanced, healing place with you. Or they want us, wanted to go in that direction of this palace or tower, whatever here, of uh, growth, abundance, 
prosperity. They want this come to, to come to a completion, completion, but they're unsure what's going to happen here with the seven. Because now they're going from the uh, ten to the seven, so they're unsure. They're totally unsure what's going to happen here. But we do have the flowers here. All right, so I just saw the uh, hierophant. What is the actual situation here for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, please, in this connection. So whatever they're thinking about at this time for this reading. The hanged man, yeah. Cancer, Pisces, Pisces. So you're hung up, you're stuck, but you could be gaining new perspectives. So maybe you were hung up and stuck with a Pisces, or maybe you were just stuck in your energy, stuck not knowing what to do, but getting enlightenment, getting new perspectives about this divinely guided possible twin flame energy. Eight of Wands, so there you go. That's your energy. Leo Sag, Aries, fire, wands. So this is about, and that's <clears throat> funny because you Sag, a half horse, and look at all the horses here. So this is about passion, communication, travel, action, very fast-paced action here, communication. Cupid's arrow, they call it, you know, messages of love coming in. So maybe now, you know, cleaning out things in your life, making a decision here, you didn't know what to do for a time, but now being divinely guided about the soulmate connection, possible twin flame, you were stuck here for a while, but getting enlightenment and um, <clears throat> new perspectives, now making some passionate movement forward, action, fast-paced action here. So what else in this or your person, however this resonates for you. If at any time you feel like the energies needs to be reversed, then please feel free. All right, so what else here for Sagittarius? The unknown. It's unknown between the two of you, the unknown card here. Not sure what's going on. <laughs> Neither one of you know what's going on with the other one, I feel. The unknown card here. <clears throat> or what will be the future of this connection? Both are unsure, both don't know what's going on with them, where is this going. But I feel like you both are finally seeing this as some sort of divinely guided soulmate twin flame connection. So, and I did see that card earlier, but I put it back, so it was meant to come out. Three of Swords. So your person is feeling hot broken over this situation, maybe because... Nothing's happening here. How they feel about you. All right, so what else? The tower. So there's conf double confirmation because that card in the Lee Norman that first came out was the tower. So this person had an epiphany, aha moment <clears throat> about this connection, knowing. So we've got the twin flames here. This is divinely guided soulmate twin flame connection. But they're confused, not sure what's going on. Where is it going? What's going to happen? They're feeling heartbroken over that, that it may not move forward, may not go anywhere. But I feel little do they know that you may be finally coming forward with uh, fast action, travel, and communication here. That is unknown between the two of you. Wow. A lot of unknown energy, unsure energy, but... Wow. Advice here. Oh, my God. So <clears throat> we have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning in love, divinely guided, love, emotions are overflowing, self-love, spiritual love, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment here, and happiness and joy in every single way. You add this together, you get the Ten of Cups, which is the Ten of Completion of soulmates coming together, um, happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way between soulmates. Wow, that is your advice, Sag. All right, so the tower here is Aries, but it doesn't have to be. All right, so what else here? Strength. Wow, so you could be dealing with the Leo. Just flew out at me. So this is a very strong bond between the two of you. It's right in the middle here between the two of you. So very strong, strong connection between the two of you. It could be a 5D connection, 3D connection. Having strength, courage, determination through this. Willpower, endurance. Confidence. Wow. Okay. Very strong, strong bond here. For a sword. So there's still uh, healing that needs to take place. Somebody here still needs to heal. Could be you, Sagittarius, because we do have healing coming in under you. 
But I feel like once you, I feel like you're cleaning up things out of your life, the snake energy. That's what I feel like you're doing. Some of you, there could have been <clears throat> somebody in a third party now eliminating that out <clears throat> of their life. Sorry, just needed a drink. Now eliminating that out of their life and now finally coming forward and choosing you or you choosing your person here. But your person definitely knows what kind of connection this is and I feel like you finally gained perhaps enlightenment on this because you do, wow, you have ace, nine, and that makes the 10. Very strong bond. Somebody still needs healing. Could be you or your person. Rest, rejuvenation, recovery. Some time alone. Somebody could be alone here as they heal and recuperate. In isolation. This is an isolating time right now. So, <laughs> isolation, isolation. All right, so, or it's the isolation right now keeping you apart. Wanting to come forward finally, but now can't because of what's currently going on in the world, I feel also. <clears throat> okay, so let's see possible outcome for you, Sagittarius, in this connection. Well, there's the chariot. So it's shown itself to me twice, so I'm going to take it. So there's a cancer energy with the chariot. So I feel like here, finally, finally, someone's making positive movement forward, a lot of drive, ambition, success, and victory, and balance, very balancing energy, moving forward, positive movement forward, the empress, knowing value, worth, birth of something new, transformation, growth, abundance. I mean, this lady here is pregnant, but I mean, doesn't have to be. This could be the birth of something new, a new relationship, a new love, a new something here. Knowing worth and value, um, embodying like all the energy of the tarot, of all the kings, all the queens, male or female. But the empress does um, represent um, Libra and Taurus. So let's see. Let's get one more for the possible outcome here. So there will be positive movement forward in the birth of something new here, I feel, um, of a connection. One more. That's too many. Okay, I guess we'll take this one. Justice. So Libra. So getting justice. Somebody could have went through something in the justice department. Doesn't have to be. Uh, legalities doesn't have to be, but it could be for some. Um, but this is bringing justice, balance, um, open, honest communication. Writing could be writings of wrongs or just uh, getting, giving, balance. In this whole situation. So we got three major arcanas here. This is a major connection here, Sag, that you may have. Major. Positive movement forward. Birth of something new. And getting and receiving justice in this connection. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom. Three of Cups. So here we have reuniting, coming back together, going out for a drink kind of energy. Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going through an ending here. Could be you or your person. You may be ending something here, um, maybe feeling stabbed in the back, you know, hurtful, painful ending. But I feel like cleaning up that energy out of your life here with the broom and healing with the star. Seven of Pentacles, you know, just could be investing in you at this time, in your finances, in your life, you know, investing in you and your future, but just patiently waiting here for the right time assessing evaluating and then finally coming forward with truthful honest communication could be spying on someone here online learning something new online two of cups here we go with the soulmate union coming back together here definitely soulmates here coming in being at a crossroads the two of wands not sure where to go what to do for a time needing to choose a path but ultimately choosing the path to success and victory here very fiery passionate energy Fiery, passionate, good news, communication, finally coming in after isolation. Isolation again with the Four of Pentacles. Uh, concentrating on your foundation in yourself and not really giving to others. But then coming through as a King of Cups energy. This can be Pisces, but doesn't have to be. Love, emotions, um, <clears throat> being in tune and in touch with how you truly feel kind of energy. Sometimes they don't really say how they truly feel. But... Uh, yeah, because then you have the three working together, coming together and working together with three pentacles. Hermit, again, isolation, going within. Needing, you know, this time we have to be in isolation, but going within and then 
and during this time of isolation and really truly finding out what you truly want in life here now with the hermit energy this is virgo for this fiery passionate brand new beginning exciting here fiery passionate divinely guided brand new beginning with a soulmate to inflame could have had past lives with them the six of cups energy from the past or somebody you know for a long time or somebody you've had past lives with wow so wow we have all this energy here for you sag all right so let's get let's get some some of you could be um like separated in from each other because of this isolating time but maybe also in a different state different country maybe you're kind of stuck in isolation for some of you you or someone like in a hotel or somewhere where you can't leave because of maybe a lockdown or something however that resonates for you so let's get some extra messages here for you sag with whispers of love if you're new like how i read please check out my channel like what you see please feel free to like share subscribe comment love to read the comments hit the bell you won't miss out five readings a month i'm bringing back the spirit messages readings and the single readings so i'll probably continue with the loves the generals the bonus for now and in the future i may start doing extendeds on vimeo all right, so what do we have here? We have do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. 41.5, change. Something's going to change here in this connection. Finally, is finally someone is finally going to start going to start giving their attention to someone that they haven't been. All right, what else here? Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. 44. So we got 4.5. <clears throat> So five, uh, four is also about stability, foundation. So be in the present and dream of the future. So I feel like there's going to be a future in this connection. And I feel like it could be dreaming of what it would be like with this person in the future. But right now, people are living in the present and doing what they need to do for their future, I feel. So let's see. Keep the dream alive. Dream. This also reminds me of the star or the sun again which would be that leo energy or star with the aquarius here divinely guided spiritual energy spiritually guided uh divinely guided connection here let's get one more express love through gifts and don't we have the gifts there or the flowers i can't make this up and we have giving a small token to someone expresses you your love to them and we have 19 which is 10 again with the completion and then one new beginning and we did have the Ten of Cups energy here, which is the soulmate union, completion of soulmate union, total happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way in soulmate union. So somebody I feel like in the future will express how they feel and they may be sending a gift. Could be you, Sag, to your person here, finally. I feel like, though, after we get through this period <laughs> in time, all right, so what do we have at the bottom here? We have show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you, bring happiness to those around you. And we have five, which is change. Again, more change. So you know, if you're isolated right now, and maybe you're sitting in your house and you're bored, maybe get out in nature. I mean, I think you still can go out in nature, go for a walk, go out in the woods, spend some quiet time alone, may help your healing, may help you, you know, in that Virgo hermit energy in this hangman gain new perspectives and enlightenment and also show acts of kindness to others during this uh time of need also sag okay sag so best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel so always always shine your light